Welcome to Scrum and Coke channel. My name is Fuji Win, software engineer. This screencast is a complementary video to the Medium publication, Identity Server 4, Admin UI in Azure. This video will go over part one, scaffolding an admin UI solution using Netcore CLI to generate Identity Server 4 admin UI project based on Karuba.IdentityServer4 admin template version 2.0.1. Let's get started. First, let's download a template from uh, the internet and install on the local. Next, we're going to create a folder for the project. Gonna change the directory into that project that folder. Next we're gonna run a command line dot net new with parameters to specify the uh, template, uh, the project name, the project title and some other parameters uh, down here, but we want to pay attention to is the admin password here, which will be used later on to log into the admin UI. The script is completed. So there's a uh, folder called token project. And if I cd into this folder, we see uh, there's a uh, solution for that. So now I'm going to open up the uh, solution in the Visual Studio. So in the Solution Explorer, there's a uh, solution called Token Project Admin UI. Inside the source folder, there are some web pro three web projects: Token Project Admin, Token Project Admin API, and the Token Project STS Identity. There are some other support projects here. Uh, let's let's uh, uh, take a look at the relationship between these uh, web projects. Let's go back to the uh, Medium publication. I'm going to scroll down to a chart where it's showing the relationship between these projects. Here it is. So in the solution, you see a project called token project.admin. Uh, this is the uh, admin UI client. And uh, when the project running is the run on the, uh, this project on run on, on the local host at port 44303. The second project called token, uh, pro token project.admin.api and this is run on port 44302. This is the REST API that the admin UI interact with and uh, save the data to the database. The third web project is the token project.sts.identity. This is the uh, identity, an instance of identity server 4 and it support uh, um, user login. Let's go back to the Visual Studio.
since there are three uh, web projects in here uh, the next step is gonna set these projects to start at the same time when we run the solution so uh, right mouse click on the solution uh, select properties and select the uh, multiple startup projects and we'll set the token project.admin to start admin api to start and the last one down here the uh, identity to start as well and okay let's take a look at the uh, application settings there's one parameters in here that i want to change and that is the database name i'm going to highlight database equal to identity server for admin i'm going to mass replace uh, the server the database name with identity server for admin db from my experience when we um, get the uh, set up the uh, database in uh, azure these are object name and uh, by appending the uh, db at the end it's make it easier to identify the object as a database i'm going to select the option entire solution here and i'm going to click on the um, option to replace them all but there are 36 occurrence have been replaced there's an admin uh there's an app settings uh, in each of the web uh, project so there are three web projects and that's why there's you see that 36 uh, occurrence of the, the database name there's an admin uh, app setting that JSON here in the uh, token project admin. There's an app settings here in token project admin API, and also there's a app setting JSON in the token project sts identity. Okay, so now the um, it's ready to run the solution, and all of these uh, uh, web uh, web project gonna run on the local host. You can hit F five or click on start here. So we set three uh, web projects to run. So therefore, the uh, expectation here is that there will be three instances of the web browser open. So here it is: the local host four 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 three one zero. This is the. Um, is running the identity server four local host 44302 this is the admin uh, rest api displayed in swagger and we have a instance of admin ui running as well it's just that right now it detected that it's, this is no login so it redirect to the identity server for login so i'm going to log in with the admin account and the password that is specified when we generate the uh, solution scaffolding the solution uh, that i showed earlier in the video that uh, that password so i'm put it in here i'm going to click on login so look at this the uh, right now is on the identity server uh, 44310 but as soon as i log in it's going to redirect to the 
uh, admin UI website that run uh, on the local host 44303. And from here, I can manage the clients, which are your application. So this is a front-end UI to register the application. So click on Add Client here, and you can see that we you can specify a client ID and a client name. And the, the powerful thing behind the uh, Identity Server four is that it support variety of clients uh, using the single page application uh, javascript using the latest authorization code flow with uh, pixie pkce here it support web application server side uh, authorization code flow with pixie as well and then some other type of client like tv and limited input device you got the native application mobile and desktop and there's the machine robot type so that's it for the uh, client apps API resource here is where uh, if you have backend web API REST API this is where you go in and register it and of course for login identity you got uh, users there's an option to add user here and also roles so the admin UI uh, for identity server 4 make it easy for developers to during the development we can register different type of uh, application and also register the uh, Web API, REST API um, through the user interface. This concludes part one screencast uh, of the Medium uh, blog Identity Server for Admin UI. Thank you for watching.